Welcome to a quick tutorial where we're going to learn how to create this particular rain effect that you can add into any of your renders to create more pizzazz. So let's start right off. First, the rain texture is all going to be added to different layers of planes. So let's add in the first plane. Shift A, Mesh, and Plane. Then we can rotate it on the x-axis by 90 degrees. Now we could scale it up directly like this, but since we're going to be using object coordinates, we can just tab into edit mode, scale it just as large as you want, and then tab back out. Now we want this to have the rain material, so we click on new material, and then we open a new window. Now we can change the name of this from material to rain. Now once we have that created, change this to the shader editor, and then hit N to remove this side panel that we no longer require. Now we do Shift A and add in a noise texture. Once we place the noise texture, we can hook the noise texture up to a color ramp so that we have more control over the size and everything else. So hook the color up to the factor and then take the color and plug it into the emission as well as the alpha. Once you have that, make sure that you go down to the settings of your material and change the blend mode from opaque to alpha clip. Once you have that set, we can go ahead and start reducing the black and you can see how this changes. But obviously we don't want this to look like milk patches as it does right now. So what we can do is select this noise texture, hit Control T with the nose, node wrangler switched on, or you can add in the texture coordinate nodes and the mapping nodes individually. Once you've set up the texture coordinates and mapping nodes, make sure that you switch from the generated coordinates to the object coordinates like this. Now the scale is clearly too large, so let's reduce that back to something like 10 or maybe five. Once we have that over here, scale on the Y axis is going to squash it and scale on the X axis is gonna squash it like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reduce the scale on the Y axis to something really low like maybe 0.1 or 0.2. And on the x-axis, we're going to increase the scale by quite a lot, so maybe 20. Once we have that, this is still way too dense. So in our color ramp, we can just slide the sh slider until we have our rain. Now to get the rain to move, all we have to do is keyframe the location. Now, of course, you could just add in a driver, which is hash frame, by some number, maybe 10 for now, and then you can watch the rain actually fall. Make sure you change your output properties to whatever frame rate you actually require, like 30 frames per second. Then you should be able to see your rain fall. If this feels a little too strong, you can reduce the speed over here, but generally rain does fall really fast. Now, if you want it to fall at an angle, just select the plane and rotate it on the Y axis, then just grab it so that it fits your entire screen. You can always tab and scale it up so that the scale remains. And there, now you have some horizontal rain falling down. Make sure that you never go overboard with this because if you do, it won't look that great. So always keep it as low as possible. Play around with the sliders to get exactly what effect you want. Now to add some more depth to it, you can always take this plane, shift D on the Y axis and just move it back and when you move it back, just scale it down a bit and tab scale it up. And that would actually give you another layer of depth into the rain. Again, it might be too much, so just reduce the black quite a bit. Now you can add this into your own scenes however you want. For example, over here in our, we have a city scene. We've added in a bit of volumetrics. So as you can see, we have a cube that's surrounding the entire city over here, and the material of the cube is just a principled volume put into the volume node, and the density is controlled by a color ramp, which is driven by a noise texture. So this actually gives you a little bit of fog into the scene, which looks really nice, as you can see the difference without and with. Along with that, we have our different planes that's giving in the actual rain that's being used in the city. So we have three planes, and when you actually look in, that's how the rain works out. Now it's very subtle, but that's what sells the effect. Hopefully you learned something. This was a really short one, so you can use this in whatever you please. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped you, and until next time, stay creative.